All right, we got a special guest in the building. That's right, I. That's right, I. Where do we know you from, man? Tell them where they know you from. But wait, 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 wait. Mean, come wait? on, nigga, hold on. First and foremost, guest. But hold, I, I know we got a guest, but I wanted to say so. I wanted to bring him in. Go ahead, motherfucker. Jeez, I'm that's not. Massage, yeah, 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 yeah. Come My on, bad. no. Usually you, you're like, I'm good. Yeah, you're good. You, you have all the courtesy skills. You, you know what I'm saying? No, look, we have a, a a special guest in the building today. Um, for those people who don't know, and shout out to the emails that uh no that we got <laughs> y'all know y'all been waiting a long time for this but um i got my motherfucking dude in the building bro mm -hmm. like real talk um keith carlos good friend uh wow. in the truth uh -huh. um can you give us like a little background of who you are what the fuck are you about and what's going on with you all right, yeah, so I'm Ryan Pumper, Brian Pumper's <laughs> uh, Little brother, son. little son. No, he's not lying. Son. Um, <laughs> he's not lying. Nah. He has a cousin, though. <laughs> <laughs> he has a cousin. Nah, I'm the first male winner of America's Next Top Model. Um, Wait, you got to say that slower. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said yeah, it fast. Yeah, yeah. He, he said it fast. You got to breeze fast. You got to breeze. I'm the first male winner of America. You put that mic up. You, you ain't got to look at the camera. You ain't got to play the camera. No. Yeah, just lift, just lift the mic up, though. Yeah, I'm the first male winner of America's Next Top Model. Wow. Former NFL player. Wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, actor. Mm -hmm. Supermodel. Extraordinary. Uh, Supermodel, uh, Entrepreneur. Though. Uh huh. Um, yeah. That's and dope. Hats, you know? That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. He, he, he does like mini hats. He, got a, he brought in a fedora today. I see he ain't got a <laughs> Yeah, he brought a fedora. <laughs> but nah, bro, so, so, so where, where are you from? I'm originally from uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bridgeport. You grew up in Bridgeport? Yeah. That's why you got people up there. It is a piece of garbage. It is a piece of shit. <laughs> my son, my youngest son is born in Bridgeport. Connecticut. Really? Yeah. It is a piece of shit. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. So I got up out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people usually hear Connecticut and they're like, oh, that's nice. And I got to explain to them, like, like nah. 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 It ain't what it is. That's just yeah. New York. Like, it's just an extension in New York. Basically. Pretty much. Yeah, it's like his little dirty little cousin. Yeah. So, yeah, literally. <laughs> so you played sports your whole life? My whole life, yeah. Your whole life, uh, yeah. Baseball, football, basketball. Mm -hmm. um, you played baseball? Mm -hmm. That was you, my first who was, love. Who was your position? You know he's a baseball guy. Yeah, oh, yeah? Yeah, a big center baseball guy. Oh, center. Okay. Control I everything. I played center. I yeah. pitched as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Lead off. Okay. You think you can't play Fast. no game. Yeah, yeah, if I had some direction, I'd have stayed with it. Yeah, of course, of course. Football was therapeutical. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cause um, I like contact. Okay, yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, you, no, you can curse. You're on Sign Network, baby. You can do <laughs> all that. It's on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> he always does that. Well, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're attached. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we're attached. Contact. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's what my dad yeah. used to say what he liked about football. Yeah, the contact. Kidding. For sure. So it's therapeutical. So one thing I know we 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 talk about we spoke about um, over the you know the course of the year too and even back then like. Bro, you had like some crazy, crazy, humble beginnings. Like being where he's at, you wouldn't even think like this mm, nigga went through. Game, you, you know what I'm saying? But that's Israelites for you, though, yeah, right? Uh -huh. So, kind of like speak about that, right? Like just you know what happened. You know what I'm saying with your moms and your brother and your, your pops and just kind of like the college route and all that. Yeah, you, yeah, can. you know the typical story. Um, uh, high school, mom was incarcerated, dad wasn't in the picture, ended up dying later. Uh, I was in the streets. Um, doing everything under the sun, you know, um, mm -hmm. but, you know, the, the most high kept me, mm -hmm. uh, I have best friends that, you know, passed on, that passed away from doing the stuff we were doing, um, through football, I was able to get out of there, you know, uh, I got kicked out of high school twice and football pretty much brought me back into it and the death of a best friend. And I was able to like, all right, I'm going to take this serious and this mm -hmm. is going to be my way out. Mm -hmm. And I just stuck with it. And uh, I never liked it, you know, never really liked football after, I want to say, like, my senior year. Or, no, my junior year of high school. Um, but I just stuck with it because I knew that was my way out. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, man, it changed my life. It was like the father I never had. And I was able to um, see and experience different uh, ways of life through coaches and uh, going other places, you know, uh, traveling out of my my hood. Mm -hmm. so, and you went to junior college too, as well, I did. right? I went to Lackawanna. Lackawanna, yeah, we played these Black niggas. Boys. Nassau played them. Where Lackawanna? At? It's in. It's uh, like, yeah, it's like Albany. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what? It's like upstate. It's like Albany, right? No. Near Albany University. It's in. Um, no. Where's that? Where's that? Know. Where? Where is it's it? It's in Stanton, Pennsylvania. Lackawanna. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. How you gonna tell me? You telling me it's in New York? Because we used to play them. So. 
Lackawanna is in New York, PA. Pennsylvania, same thing. We in PA. Okay. Yeah. But you're real close to New York, though, like, right? Like, I mean, it's tri state area, I guess, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Y'all, I mean, if y'all still stink. Was, uh, you know, yeah. No, y'all still stink. We used to whoop y'all ass in Lackawanna. Yes, we did. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, no, you did. Nassau was better. We were the were best. Y'all, were y'all contemporary, though? What do you mean? Like, did y'all play at the same time? No. No, we did not. 40 years older than me. 40? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Don't believe that. Don't believe that. Listen, no. You know how you know how we know each other? Because we, we had a trainer. Mm-hmm. We had a similar trainer, Bo Lotz, who's from Memphis, okay. who trained a lot of the NFL people now, but he was training a lot of us uh, back then. Okay. Yeah. So shout out to Bo. Shout out to Bo, Bo Lotz. So when he came out, you know, I think I stopped. I think I stopped playing at that time. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, he was coming around the scenes, and that's how we kind of connected, mm-hmm. you know, through mutual friends and stuff like that. Um, but training, ultimately, is how we got connected. Okay. You know? Um, it's football again. It's football again. Where you, uh, when you went D1, where'd you go? I went to Purdue. Purdue? Okay. I went to Purdue, yeah. Okay. Um, I had 17 D1 offers, but I only had two years to play, so I know in the Big Ten I'll be uh, a yeah. big fish in a small pond. Yeah, you know, yeah. if I'd have went to Florida – that's when Dimps and all them was there, so it had been crazy. There's a yeah. bunch of Will guys. Dimps, yeah. yeah. What was that? That Florida was SEC at the time? Or yeah, oh, no, they still are. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You don't want to go to SEC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. SEC is where it's at. Mm-hmm. For sure. You know? Yeah, man. So, okay, so you end up going to Purdue. Yeah. And then after that, what happens? You get drafted, what? Uh, No, uh, I was a undrafted free agent and signed with the Eagles. Was okay. you undrafted free agent? I was. I was. Yeah. Went to the Eagles. I still got paid though. You went to the Eagles though, right? No, 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 no. no, no. Supposed I was supposed to go, to the, supposed Eagles, to, go to the and Eagles. And I, but we're gonna circle back to that because it's funny. Me and this guy, we we are we have like similar paths and traits. Like mm-hmm. everything that goes on with him goes on with me. Like constantly, like during the same time, almost like or no goes bullshit. On with you goes on with me. Yeah, yeah, and vice versa. Crazy, yeah. He, he he tries to finish my sentences, but it doesn't work. <laughs> I already know what you're thinking. Okay, I got you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, so you were an undrafted free agent. Yeah. You went to Philly. How was that? How was that experience? Um, you, you made it to the NFL. There. I didn't want to be there. Why? I, I spent my whole life to get to that point, and I didn't want to be there because I just felt like I was doing uh, – everything for the wrong reasons i wasn't happy i felt like i should be doing something where i'm happy at that point mm-hmm. it kind of it was kind of like uh i got there and after getting past you know seeing mike vick and all these other guys that you grew up watching it's like all right it's the same old bullshit taking directions and mm-hmm. you know waking up when you don't when you don't want to wake up who's you play receiver receiver okay. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so i just pushed through it for a second and uh ended up getting hurt <laughs> It got paid though. Yeah, it, they write you a nice little check. Not that crazy, not crazy. But, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. So wait, so you like lost love for football? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're on the Eagles and you lost the love of football. Right at the wrong at the the wrong time or the right time mm-hmm. or the right time or the right, or the right time. time. Yeah. So why did you end up? Because you end up going to the, the next team, which is the Giants. So why did you even? All right. So what I well, did? You went to the Giants. That was 2014. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's later in the game. Yeah. 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 He was yeah. there with like Cruz, Victor oh, yeah. Cruz, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Knicks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hakeem Knicks. I, mm-hmm. I always got, I got a special place in my heart for the Giants. I mean, yeah, they're, they're good, yeah. man. Yeah. So after leaving from the Eagles, I came back to. She Atlanta. looking like man. What are these niggas talking? About? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Don't worry. Not after the Eagles. I uh, came back to Atlanta and was training, and um, I realized, like, yeah, I really fumbled the ball on that one after I got my job at Aldo and Express in the malls. I'm like, yeah, this ain't it. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, wait, so you was working just yeah. base level sales right. clerk? Yeah. Okay, okay. With my duffel bags, jumping from woman to woman house, mm-hmm. you know, figuring mm-hmm. it out. I you know, know what the I'm saying? story. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm saying the duffel bags, and, uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, this ain't this ain't it. I need, I, I need to get back to, you know, the grind and, and uh, figure it out. And that's when the Most High put me through the most stuff, because mm-hmm. to get that opportunity again, I had to go through it like mm-hmm. every emotion, mm-hmm. uh, blood, sweat, and tears all over again. Confusion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I couldn't go back home because my mom just got out of prison and she was living in the projects. Mm-hmm. Um, and back home, I'm like Elvis, so I couldn't go back yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want to put myself in a position where I had to protect myself or somebody tried to get me because they think I have something. So I just had to stick it out in Atlanta, and literally was like for. Two years, I was uh, essentially homeless. 
Mm. Just jumping around with the duffel bags. Broad to broad, huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I remember him doing that, too. Yeah. That's crazy. I was around. Y'all yeah. was cool with each other. Yeah, so. yeah. I was even in, sleeping in the gym. Yeah. I was in the gym for a while, too. Damn, you mm. wasn't with me sleeping in the gym. You ever, you ever <laughs> think that you ever look at your wife and just say that to her? You wasn't with me sleeping in the gym. That's <laughs> crazy. She actually was, though. Oh, shit. On a blow-up match. Damn, like, she yeah. met his hey, wife. She, she, had, she had her own. Like, she deserved it then. I, I she deserved it. Yeah. He met his wife out right here, out here, right? Yeah. yeah. I remember you know, when they were in the gym together. Yeah, she's a I, professional yeah. runner. So when she like uh went out when oh, I was yeah, town yeah, out of seas, yeah. yeah. You see that? Y'all niggas fucking. You see, you see that? You see that? Okay. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how in the hell did you get on America's Next Time? Shit was random. Um when I was on the Giants, I was on IR and a uh a PR that I knew said, Oh, they're they're accepting men. I'm like, nah, that's some that's some soft, some soft. Can I say this? <laughs> yeah, some, some soft, uh, some soft gay shit. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, that's mm-hmm. what I said at the time. <laughs> that was your mentality. That was your mentality. In that moment, yeah. Right, right. So that I was mean, first, that's a lot of niggas. Yeah, you definitely come from yet. sports. Like that's what they, you know. And it's funny, ironically enough, uh, I'm also a Kappa. So okay. Like pretty okay. boys, yeah. yeah. And in college, they call me America's Next Top Model because I'll show up to TVs in suits. <laughs> but uh, long story short, the first year I told her, "Nah, I was good." The second year, uh, I was like, "You know what? I- I'll take you up on that offer." So. And that was around the time you were playing with Victor. So Victor was doing a, a, a Dancing with the Stars and all that around that time as well. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I went on there just to get some FaceTime and to get introduced up. to the industry. Literally didn't know, know, knew nothing about like the modeling industry, mm-hmm. etc. Um, I did a little shoots every now and again, yeah. but nothing serious. But at that level, like with Tyre Banks and all them, with the eyes on you, I basically literally just copied the person that went in front of me mm-hmm. and did everything they did, and, and it worked. <laughs> and it, and worked. it worked. And it worked. And you worked. Hey, yeah. hey, somebody has to lead by example. And Someone will show you the way. Show me yeah. the way. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Once I realized like what they were doing, I was like, all and right. And you had to give the gap. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. You, so I got one question about America's Tap next time I'm on. What's the obvious question? Uh, how does Tyra look in person? She, oh, man, she's she beautiful. She's okay. beautiful, man. Yeah, thick. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, she's, that was surprising. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because once she, she, she started putting, uh, yeah. her, putting her weight back on once she kind of oh, yeah. retired. You yeah. know what Is her forehead that big? Um, It's about the same size as yours. Well, his is you know a little longer than it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's true. You know. He got that hammerhead. Oh, so this is, so this is a diss track. <laughs> no, he he oh, do have head. a hammerhead though. That that's that's good. Th- this is a diss track. It, it, it can it can. Tr- Boy, it has <laughs> shaped like an elbow. I got you. <laughs> all right, now you. I got you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now terrible. we got this. I mean, we got the same size forehead. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, know, it's all good. All the smart people got big foreheads. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Look. <laughs> So okay, so you so so how does it go? So take us through, you know, America's Top Model. Like, how many like, I guess uh, stages do you have to go through to get to like the final? Hey, you're the winner. Like, uh, what, like what did you? Sixteen weeks or something. Yeah, we was there actually two months. We shot a month in uh, L.A. in this big ass mansion. Mm-hmm. They uh, they had cameras everywhere. We had a camera following each individual person, mic'd up twenty four seven, so they'll hear and see everything. You go shit on the toilet, they sitting there with you. It wow. was awkward as hell. They pump you full of, like, they had liquor sitting in the house. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they needed they yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. And they did a little instigating. So we did, it was in L.A., and then we went to Seoul, Korea. That was my first time out the country. Seoul, okay, yeah. okay. And we shot up, like, a month there, I would say. So that wow, was, so you got to travel. Yeah, life changing. Life, life changing. Yeah, for sure. You're just, like, enjoying the ride. For sure. Not even taking it serious. That's just the like, best. Oh, shit, I'm here to get some FaceTime. That's the best. Get a couple... So when did it sink in that like you know what? <laughs> Get a couple. Uh, so like yeah yeah yeah. Like, so let's be real. Okay. <laughs> did you know that you were gonna win? Uh, did, like were you up like in the points? Like if there's even a point system? Uh, I knew I was gonna win. Um, well, they were saying I was gonna win after the first photo shoot. Really? Yeah, what, that's what, what the other contestants were saying. It was just giving. But was I was just, just giving, like, huh? <laughs> yeah, because Tyra had said some things to me, and you could tell that she was taking a liking to me. And they knew it, and um, mm. that was that. Yeah, I asked them Not some really? off camera. I asked them Wait, some questions, and uh, did you have to do something crazy? Like yeah. I know they do like insects and like animals yes. and stuff like that. My first runway hit. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. My first. Well, I guess you could see it anyway. <laughs> the first runway was like literally we had to spray um, silly string on our uh, genitals and walk down the runway. Wow. What? 
Silly strange. I wouldn't do it now, but yeah. No, I'm just saying though. They, I, didn't, I didn't know they made. Like, yeah, you had to pay your dues. Yeah. <laughs> Man, so it's like it's show. literally like 50 people in the crowd, and you walking down the runway. Just I mean, silly string down. Just, yeah, just bouncing around. But nigga, like, essentially, around. <laughs> yeah, literally just like. Oh my! You know what I'm the ball Johnson dance. Yeah, shit crazy. Um, man, that's cold. <laughs> yeah, man. But that show was like an exaggerated version of what modeling really is. So when I got into exactly. the real world, exactly. it was like, oh, this is it. Yeah. Here, yeah. here you know put on these yeah. clothes. It's yeah. a TV. It's, 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 it's no purely for TV. Training. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, for sure. And you could tell different uh, judges it was their days to be the asshole. Because you know, they'll you be talking to them just like yeah. this. Lights, camera, action. Then their whole attitude, everything will switch. Okay. Then you, you'll catch up on it like, oh, okay. Yeah. Now, now okay. it's game. Yeah. So I, I want to ask the obvious question, right? Mind so now nah, we gotta ask this. No. Shut up! Shut up! No, we we yeah, here to yeah, prove yeah, 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 What's yeah. the word of this show? Divulge, Divulge, my nigga. Please. So check this out. So clearly, right? So who does he look like? I don't know. A model wise, who does he look like? <laughs> I know. <laughs> right? I know. I don't know. Do you know models? No. Do you know who Tyson Bedford is? Really young. Really. Okay. So he, but he looks like Tyson, but like not hella though. I, I mean, they're I'm pretty close. Right. The re- what the re- you see if you know? Yeah, the reason why I bring it up because they actually had an experience. Who? Right, you and Tyson know each other, correct? No. Yes, you do. I've never this met him. Terrible. Well, you never met him. I've never been in the same room with him. Okay, just, but I wish that brother the best. Okay. Does he hate you? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Do you, does he like you? Never spoke to him about it. Okay. Yeah. What did you hear? <laughs> huh? What did you hear? About what? About Tyson and you. Tyson and me? Yeah. I didn't hear anything about us. Okay. What are you talking about? You know, what? I mean, I, you <laughs> know <laughs> emails are flying in, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming with information. They, with information. they knew you were going to be Yeah, here. they knew it. They knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Those silent emails, they just know. The Lord Those knows. Nah, so, uh, so you never met nah. Tyson before. Nah. Okay, okay. All right, cool. All knows we got the same birthday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. But, and nothing but success. Yeah. Nothing but success. Okay, all that, praise. That's what we wish Tyson, right? Nothing, yeah. Nothing but success. I, I like Tyson, though, man. He was yeah. Ralph Lauren every damn For thing. Sure. Bro. I mean, like, Tyson, bro. I mean, I mean, he's like the male Naomi Campbell. He bro- broke barriers. He right? broke I mean, barriers. Bro- bro- I mean, is he still doing it? That's yeah. The, every, he you know, yeah. He, he, acts, he acts a little bit, but okay. he's... What is he? He, what? He, he was in that He was in that motorcycle movie. Biker Boys. <laughs> Come on. You know we you know movies. Come on, man. So, oh, I love her. She's not married anymore, right? No, she she left. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Hey, Megan. Um. <laughs> All right. So, oh, you yeah. know what? Okay. Speaking about that, right? So, who was like a celebrity crush? Because you're kind of like mingling with these people, right? Who was like a celebrity crush that you kind of like got in touch with? Not when I say in touch, I mean you spoke to, you got to meet. That's me. Come on. I mean, you don't uh, have to celebrity answer. Celebrity crush. I'll after you. Yeah. I mean, I don't discriminate. Ready. Okay. You don't All discriminate, but now, nah, but but like, who was like, everybody got a one. Like, there's a one for me, right? Oh, yeah, who's the one? Malaysia Pargo. Oh, yeah? Who's that? From uh, uh, you Basketball Wives. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Malaysia. Yeah, she's bad. Oh, God. Yeah. If I meet Malaysia, I got it. I'm going to You're losing it? My game is going to be tight. Your game is going to be tight. You're, hey, you <laughs> prepare for this, all right? <laughs> Sunday prepare for preparation? Okay. <laughs> once I move to Atlanta. Once I move to Atlanta, I'm, I'm going to write it. Okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> but but Malaysia for sure. Malaysia? Okay. So there's no one that you met that you always wanted to meet? Um, nah, but I want to meet Megan Good. You want to meet Megan Good? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I heard Megan's good. Nigga is <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Are you so seriously? Nobody? Nah, Look, he ain't gonna I like him all. Yeah, he's yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, he's he a professional. He's a professional. He likes her too. See, look, he's what, a professional. What about you? Let's let's spend it to you, nigga. Um, I got to meet Melissa Ford one time. Is you, did you always want? Is that was that like a, a crush for you? Yes, and was one of the ones yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, at that time, I was in college. Melissa Ford was big, especially on the magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying. So when I got uh, 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 straight stunting and all that, yeah, you already know. So <laughs> when I got man. when I got on the Jets, Melissa Ford, um, on the she was dating. As a matter of fact, uh, what's the running back that we had at that time? Thomas something Thomas. He was dating Megan Good at the time. He brought her to the Christmas party. Mm. That's so funny. That's crazy. Through the spirit. Wow. So you seen Megan? I seen Megan Good in person she before. Was she was with uh, uh, dude. The running backs that went to Virginia. There was two of them. One played for uh, the Jets, and the other one played for Dallas. They both. They were brothers. They went to uh, Tiki Barber. No, 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 no. Oh they both God. went to Virginia. 
something Thomas. Anyway, yeah. but I met Melissa Fox. Not Melissa Fox. Melissa Megan Fox. Mega Ford, bro. Megan Fox. It was, <laughs> it, <laughs> yo, yeah. that was, it was ridiculous. He was like, cause you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't. What did you do though? Was your heart beating though? No? I'm saying it was. No, 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 no. Cause at that time, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you had like, yeah, there's a lot of celebrities around that time. Like, you uh -huh. know, you had Laverne ish, you had, you know, Brad Smith. There's a lot of us that were there, but I'm just playing my part. I'm still young. But it's you my second year. That's the one, though. That's the one, though, man. She's, Listen, yeah. When I, I, I came to Atlanta, right? There, there's a, there's an Instagram girl, right? Not mm. a, Whatever. What's her name? Instagram. I'm not. I'm not gonna say her name. Mm. What's her handle? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm definitely not saying that. I'm not saying that. But oh my god, I've been in love with this girl for years. Anyway, so when I first come out here, I know. I said I'm. I am going to see her for sure. I'm going to run into this girl without. There was no doubt in my mind. So, Zamir. Of course. I tell him. I said, look. I sent him a picture. I said, listen. I'm. This is the only time I will ever ask you. Please. Me. I need. I need to put on. He said, I just, I just went with her at Zari. I said, oh, for real? She was at Zari. I said, okay. The spirit. So we go to That's Sweet. Crazy. Yeah. Look, we're at Sweet, right? We're at Sweet chilling, whatever. Man, and um, she come in there. We there in the promoter section. The promoter bring like 12 girls. She's in there. I'm like, man, how you ain't give her my number? I'm like, though? no, no, listen. <laughs> I'm like, man, man, man. He's like, all right, so look. Uh-huh. It's loud as hell, whatever, whatever. So he grabbed me. But I talked to her real quick. Boom, boom, I got the number, whatever. Okay, cool. So, man, silly me. This right? silly you. It's okay. This, come to find out, man, this girl is like groupie. Yeah. Cocaine snorter. Damn. Motherfucking prostitute. All kinds of shit. Turned you all the way off. No, I just said, I was just like. Basically, she that's was a, regular. That's a no, big red. That's no, like today's you, norm. No, no, it was so many red flags. Like, yeah. The super. If if I, if I, I ain't gonna tell the whole story. Yeah. You no, know, like <laughs> it was like wow, and then like, and then somebody was like, "Bitch, bitch off Instagram. What do you think you were gonna?" Find? Right. I said, yeah, it's like, like, yeah, silly, silly me, me, silly rabbit. <laughs> Man, that's just how it is. That's I mean, how dangerous that's just, it yeah. is meeting people though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, you think, yeah. Like, you get a picture in your head about somebody. That TV will fuck you up. And then it's like you be like, damn. That, that phone. This that is phone so too. That it's that a lot phone, of catfishing going especially on. Especially on this Instagram nowadays. It's a lot of catfishing. You know, all these girls yeah. are sponsored now. Like they all paying for their um or views you? now. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Like if you go if you just go on Instagram, boom. Paying for their views. Like if you scroll, there'll be girls that'll pop up as it'll say sponsored. Like they like they oh, like, like, like how this that, like how this means? ad is sponsored, that means she's paying to be seen in your Timeline. Wow. That started off with because we used to do it uh, for, at Got a Trainer. You remember the company, right? A company Got a Trainer. No, you don't. No, How? not at all. <laughs> this guy's an asshole. That's why I love it. No, but no, uh, no. Um, um, we used to pay for uh, friends on Instagram when Instagram first came out. Yeah, we, we used to, yeah, you used to can do that. We used to we used to you buy can't that. Even really do that. No more. We used to buy that shit. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't believe it. I'm just like, and all these just random people. So that doesn't strike me that you, you can actually yeah, buy. Yeah, it. You know what I mean? Are, but but see, Instagram. They're, it's not necessarily buying views. It's they're they're like promoting themselves. It's like a promote, but like yeah. like a it's like a commercial. It's a Instagram. money play for mm -hmm. Instagram. Uh -huh. it, it's a money play for Instagram because Instagram is going look. You want more people to see you on our platform? Just you. give us the money. And we'll force your pictures into their feeds into and all their that. Feed. And, you know, if you got something people like, they're going to like it. They're going to follow you, mm -hmm. et cetera. So, right. like, there's a gang of girls doing that right now. And that's actually taking away from the natural, uh, uh, what would you call it? Um, like people organically follow you? Yes. Uh -huh. yes like yes. like a real away, yeah. ground up type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So your, 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 your post will probably reach, like, 1%. Opposed to others because they need to make room in their funnel. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. That's why people post. It doesn't really reach out anymore because everybody's paying for it. Mm -hmm. it so that, the they want thing. everybody to start paying for it, basically. Mm -hmm. And that's why. But now, if you, if you, if you want your post to reach you, I reels, mean, reels, reels is mm -hmm. the only real yeah, way reels to do it yeah. now. You feel what I'm saying? They reels is sure, huge. They gonna make sure the reels are going. That nigga yeah, um, all the videos mm -hmm. is reels now. Yeah, like okay. J Jason Derulo Is that his name? Jason Derulo? Derulo? Jason Derulo yeah, uh, you can't My do, bad you can't He's a Levite regular, uh, Yo that dude That dude is doing crazy my, You right You right You right Yo he's doing crazy Like he's like really good at that shit Good for that bro 
Jesus, nigga, you just so biased. He's just so biased. He says, I just want nothing but success for that, brother. He says, good for that, man. Okay. So, okay, so we we won. Um, we're in this industry now. Yeah, you're a model now. You're a model now. Mm-hmm. Like, like the model nigga. Yeah, like you're the, like you're the top, <laughs> top security of the world. Like, what's going on? Like, like, are you still amazed at this point? Or now are you like, you know what? Let me put my business hat on. How can I work this business? Yeah, right. Nah, um, it's regular to me now. You know, um, I'm just in a different headspace now. Definitely that I'm in the truth. Mm-hmm. Um, just it's a whole new like game plan, and uh, I'm more focused on fam- like my immediate family and monetizing uh, the success I have. How did you come? How did you get into the truth? Uh, my late and great brother who passed away like six months ago. <sighs> He got me into the truth. You know, uh, Glenn. We, we we talked about that, right? Remember we said um, he had got shot with a girl. He had like, met a girl off a date nap. Remember that? Yeah. So that, that's yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Spoke to Debak. Mm-hmm. Were you there that day, Ock? Or you? Yeah, you, 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 you talked to him, too? Talked to Debak. Got, okay, Con. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, I was at a place where uh, a lot of the stuff in, in the Bible didn't make sense. And I was looking at other, um, quote, unquote, like religions and whatnot. Um, none of it really made sense. And he show me this perspective and it made sense and it put a lot of uh sense to everything i was reading and mm. i just fell in love all praises you know and i just started digging 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 learning yeah and uh yeah so that's how i got into it yeah i can say one thing man like oh but i also learned a lot from from y'all you know watching y'all videos on well, youtube after, after you came after, in. after <laughs> yeah. well, mm-hmm. the that beginning don't count. Too, the sorry. beginning too like he actually pointed me to the videos oh okay. you know what i'm saying because there's a lot of stuff that he couldn't say or you know what i'm saying so he's like watch this and then in depth videos you know mm-hmm. pointing me in that direction Con. yeah yeah so, uh, I, I can honestly say man like you know cuz we we literally probably speak what like every, every day right there for a while like like every day like probably two or three times a day for hours sometimes minutes seconds whatever right but we just always speak um, and then we start understanding after, especially we have families, like we start going through the same shit. So mm-hmm. it, it was just common, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, he has, you know, the realest questions all the time. He's thirsty for that well. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's nonstop. You know how sometimes people turn on that fountain and then they turn it off? Oh. Like his shit is always on, bro. Like always on, always up, always asking questions. Like we were out riding scooters today. Mm-hmm. This nigga never rode a scooter before. I never rode a bird. I remember the first time I rode that, me and Asai, we was walking. Why, why do we have to walk? I, had to, I forget what me and Asai was doing. I had got on the bird. Uh-huh. Man, it took off on the That's just fun, right? No. This nigga was acting a fool, bro. But <laughs> we ended up, you know, getting a couple drinks here and there, mm. ate some food. Drinks. You know, <laughs> then we went to Playa Bowl. We still got to go to Playa Bowl. You keep telling me. I'm not. What is that? It was on fire. Bowl, it was on like, fire. Yo, was it not good? It was good. Pl- it's called Playa Bowl. Like a bowl oh. and a smoothie type of play oh. it's great and then you know there was a young lady that came in there mm. young lady very voluptuous. very voluptuous Ooh. Ooh. so you know <laughs> me being the gentleman that i am mm. left this nigga <laughs> right Fuck and said you know what you're boring i'm going outside i'm gonna talk to her mm. and then that turned into what a two-hour conversation yes, damn yes, about the bible wow and mm. i think she got it for sure. She understands it. Yeah, yeah. You know, doing evangelical work. Yeah. You know? You know what I mean? We out there on the belt line doing the work. Uh, so, okay. no, no, it, it, it was good, bro. It was cool. You know, it was really, really cool. But, um, no, nah, the brother's on fire, though. You know what I'm saying? All praise the most high. Yeah. yeah. So. That's good. Yeah. That's great to hear. <laughs> yeah. I'm you know, just I'm don't get fired. Fi- yeah. He was supposed to come here last month. Oh, he was, he was. Now he here, here, here this month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Because you know, I've been in California. I ain't see him. I was at the Super Bowl. Yeah, he let's was, talk about that, though. Like, any, yo, he stood the chief up. You stood <laughs> the chief up. Uh, you did. You know what, though? I, I can't put it on him. I am the stander upper of all time. Mm hmm. Because I'll hit niggas like, I'm finna be out. I'm gonna be in town. Once I touch down, I got to tunnel vision of what the fuck I'm getting ready to do. Mm-hmm. And then nine times out of ten don't include beating up, mm-hmm. beating up with anybody. Right. Somebody's gonna have to really come put they self in, in, my in your direction. Right. <laughs> yeah, y'all be so moving you, around. You gonna have to yeah, no, put no, this. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm lot. here, boom, hour late, I'm, I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. I ain't no telling. You so know the big mean? the big question is is he gonna is he is he dealing with FOT this weekend? 
Yeah, I see you. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you I let I, I had to leave that to chief. You gotta come, man. You gotta come hit these campsites, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's got room in this tent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I had to go get a new ten person. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Um, you know, but uh, uh yeah, we are gonna have some fun. We right gotta there. go to La Citadel. Got, so what do y'all oh, do? We're going to La Citadel without question. Okay. Huh? On Sunday, probably. You said what? What do y'all do at five? We just, you know, we just out there in it, the, you know, kicking it. Like kicking I bring it, bring the right? kids. They gonna call the police on it for okay. sure. They do mm-hmm. it every year. Talking shit. I ain't tripping. Yeah, talking Bonfire, shit. Bonfire stuff but like that. Real yeah, talk. All the good shit. S'mores. You know they yeah. Have Music. Could drinks. Be too loud. Scary stories. Uh, at night. If you got some. Mm-hmm. If you got some. You know. Scary stories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, you what know what's Saturday? Friday. It's all week. All week. It's really, and then we're gonna be all after we leave the campground. Uh, we're gonna be camping. I'll be camping at the house still, after, mm-hmm. like in the backyard. Yo, I'm yeah. in the back of the hotel camping. What? This, this we have is, to oh, because we got to do it for a whole week. This, this is kind of like oh, off man. topic yeah. a little bit. This is kind of funny because she's been asking about the holiday. Like she was, asking, she was like, "What about like what's new moon?" And, you know, there we like, go, cat. So yeah, this starting to inquire. We, we have to sleep in tents for a whole week. Yeah, but it's fun though. Like when, when do we Once ever get to sleep in tents? You know what I'm saying? We did like last this week. We had to. Not eat or drink for a whole day. That I was. Think, I didn't so like y'all that. Have like a date, or y'all just do it. No, we have a date every year. Mm. Everything, like I was telling you about, like the new moon and half moon, for all that, like everything that we, our whole calendar is based off of that. That's right. So what is it? What's the? It's it's full moon tomorrow. Full night. moon tomorrow. Full night. moon tomorrow night. So mm-hmm. yeah, we are gonna be in the tent. Mm-hmm. It's called the um, it's called the harvest moon. The harvest the full moon. moon of. Of this is called hard. Yeah, that shit was looking bright tonight. Mm-hmm. It was looking yeah, because it, it started getting it started yeah, getting big yeah, before. hell yeah. Because it'll look for it only be like yeah, exactly, but it looks exactly, cool, you know exactly. I mean? Did you guys ever have somebody get fired from a bank, like one of your homeboys? Not being honest. Yeah. Well, it, I, didn't, I didn't get them Let me tell you something I was talking <laughs> to one of my homeboys last week. Uh-huh. No real talk. Last yeah. week. Last week. Last week. Uh-huh. Do you know? <laughs> A lady, she, this is why you got fired. A lady came up, a white lady at that too, mm-hmm. right? Can we say that? We can say that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. A white lady came up there <laughs> and said, can you please check my balance? Uh-huh. He said, okay, fine. He got fired for that. You know, the reason why they fired him because he went around and pushed her to check her balance <laughs> just to make sure she was all right. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, did she, did yeah. she know, <laughs> I mean, does she have heels on? Cause he, do you see these two? These two. Jesus. Did she have hands? Did she? I don't know. I think they were, they might have been flats. Flats. Flat. Might have oh, been flats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He pushed it from the side or the back. Always from the side. From the side. One yeah. arm or two. Always from the I, side. I, I would imagine it'd be two. Two hands. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's aggressive. That's aggressive. He but he got fired. Like but all she asked for was just to check her balance. So. <laughs> So I mean, that's crazy. That's, I mean, that's nuts, really. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> I mean, shit. Who would have thought? You were so annoying. You know what? You like? <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, yeah. Do I? I don't miss. I... No, you don't. Not, we not, get not that off of Laffy me. Taffy. Guys. You know what? Why don't you? Why don't you, why don't you stop? Yeah. Stop. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get nothing off of Laffy Taffy, okay. bro. Nigga You're, a li- You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Nobody's seen them shits in years. Yeah, okay. Okay. We just Asshole. was in the store with him. Nobody buys them though. When you ever see, when the last time you see somebody laughing at? When the last time your like, kid real talk. asked for a laffy tap? My don't kid know, don't, don't, don't even know, know what that is. Yeah, <laughs> that was. Are they shit. still like that banana. yellow cab color? Man, banana they is still, the nastiest one. You don't yeah, like the banana that. laffy tap? That's my yeah. favorite one. Is yeah, that I ain't banana. doing that. I am not doing that. Everybody looked at me. It's crazy. I like I like bananas, but I don't like banana flavor stuff. Really? Yeah. Just like mango. I like mango, but I don't like mango flavor stuff. That's strange. But you don't, so you don't like that that no. drink that we had. That's right. You're a hater, and I'm a hater of you. What's your favorite? favorite? What's your favorite yeah. drink? My favorite drink. See, you didn't even know it. That's crazy. Well, probably because you drink. did you mix it. Your yeah, favorite, yeah, that's what it is. Your favorite yeah. alcohol? What is it? Liquor. Reposado. Reposado. Any reposado? No, Don Julio reposado. Don Julio reposado. Hmm. My favorite. Um, oh, you you remember you said that? <laughs> My favorite liquor is uh, Keith Carlos. So is your is your oh, liquor God. coming out? Is it cognac? Because it's cognac. It's a cognac. You got a yak coming out. Let me let me tell you some bullshit. You know, I'm picturing yeah, yeah, yeah. Picture yeah. him in France. Yeah, yeah. Right, so that went over your head. That went over your head. That went over your head. Listen, man. Let me tell you what this motherfucker liquor. said. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh the jokester now. Oh, 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 okay, okay. So yo, we 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 in them. Yo, we we about to get the scooters right, and. uh I'm like, yo, man, we about to ride scooters. Turned out to be the, like the best time of his life, right? Right. But initially, he was like, <laughs> yo, he's like, yo, 
Like Keith Carlos doesn't ride scooters. <laughs> I'm like Keith Carlos doesn't ride. And then no he, this nigga had a nigga at the rock. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, he said, then he said, "Yo, do you see Michelle Obama riding around with scooters?" I'm like, "Yeah, no, yeah. nigga." But like, <laughs> talk your yo, shit, Keith. Next thing you talk know, your shit, Keith. Next thing you know, this nigga sitting on the scooter on the bottom with his feet out, talking about some weed. <laughs> I said, "This nigga." Nah, that's real nigga shit though. That yeah. shit was like fun. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, we had fun. a good time. We had a good time. We had a good time. It was I fun. I turned that bitch into a Harley. You see? did. Yeah, that shit was fun. Yeah, that I'm shit was fun. I'm not riding on birds with you niggas. Like, right? I want y'all to know <laughs> Yo, that. Yo, you, you got I'm to, not bro. Doing it. Yo, we rode all around Piedmont, 10th Street, all that shit. It was fun. Yeah. You just riding over the, the rainbow. Um, we rode over that motherfucker. Uh, over it. Uh, 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 and as there's like a group of women <laughs> coming, coming towards us, you got to like start, you got to slow down and start squinting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Real light skin. Point. So can yeah, you can you give us some of your poses that you do? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Zoolander <laughs> on cue. Look, look, nigga, just hit him though. Snapped into it. <laughs> on cue. Uh, you guys know why? Nah. How come they don't spell dark with a C? I, I don't. I don't know. Instead, uh, how come? Drag. No, because you can't dark. see in the dark. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. You wait. can't see in the dark. I got the C. Yeah, I got something. Um, I, I don't get. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again one more time. I'm not saying it again, bro. Sorry. Say if it went over time. your head, it went over your head. Sorry. It's like one of those things. Like when the scriptures are too deep, you can't get it. You just got to keep it's finding. Right. It. I was reading that scripture earlier. Seek out, seek out not the things that are too hard. Oh yeah. <laughs> seek out not oh, the things that are too hard for thee. Dude, let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Please, don't ever ask him, like, hey, what are some of the deepest, darkest secrets in the Bible? Because I'm going to tell you right now, he's going to tell you something and sh or show you something that's going to fuck your head up. Did, did, did uh, what's my call it? Shout out to uh tennis player. What's her name? Serena, right? Serena Williams. She just did it again. She huh? just, she just, she just, she's the goal. She's the, She's the fucking goat. We were, you weren't with us. Mm -hmm. We went to, you know, she told us about this midweek 1145, how it's going. Okay. Specials, right? Mm -hmm. Last week, we go in mm -hmm. there. She Na was playing that day? She played the next day. Naomi was playing. So me and the side are in there rooting for Naomi. Naomi ended up losing. Mind you, she's just coming back from her little. Um, mm -hmm. She lives in my neighborhood, by the way. Yeah, his neighbor. Naomi. Naomi. Osaka. Naomi. Osaka. 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 Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So she's coming back off her little mental health. Um, Stint or whatever, she took some time off from it. So she's she's not ranked right now. Okay, she had a good outing, but she ended up losing. But I was talking shit to the box and the guy. But I was talking a lot of shit. Yeah, man. you know, cause I'd say Naomi's the new goat, right? I would say so. She's but she but, but she got she got. I some... gave her 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 flowers too early. She does have accomplishments and she has beat Serena. Don't get it twisted, but mm -hmm. she's still young, mm -hmm. right? She ain't been where Serena been. And some people will argue. You could make an argument that Serena Williams is the greatest athlete of all time. I don't think she is, but you can make an argument. She's fucking decorated. Highly. Highly decorated. Highly decorated. And, and, and that's gender out to, with uh, off the table. I mean, You can put her up with any of the goats of I mean, it, any man. Jordan is who he is because he's decorated, right? It's facts. So why wouldn't Serena be? So, I mean, this Serena's up there. We can't do that. So I, I did prematurely. You know, kind of down. Of course, I have a bias. Of course, Naomi's Levi, hatred, so yeah, of, course of course I'm, I'm biased. Of course, yeah. whatever. Uh -huh. You know, her daddy was in the crowd, just looking like this Haitian nigga, looking like I don't want to be here. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just here. It's my daughter. I got yeah. all the shit. Whatever. So, uh, but yeah, so you know, Serena did her thing. She came back. She's she's out of shape. She is was unranked, and she just came and just won. Killed him. Open. Just you know, killed him. Whatever. You know, like it's not. So is it over? Is what I'm asking. Yeah, I think yeah. So. At what age? Because I know they. She's what? She gotta be forty, yeah, she right? Forty-one, maybe. Yeah, she's in her forties. Yeah, forty. Early forty. I mean, after what? Two yeah, kids, no, twins. She be. She still beat the girl. Mm -hmm. I mean, bro, she's just a beast. That movie. Have you ever seen that movie? Um, the king. The, the king. king it's a great. King it's a great movie. A great. You seen it? I have. It's a great movie, right? It's like real. that. Yeah, that it's shit. Over. That should make you just want to just be like a better father That's in all right. different types of ways. Yeah, right? I think they lost right. the doubles. No, yeah, maybe the doubles, but the I seen that. But 40, I seen yeah, that. She's 40, yeah, she's forty exactly. 40. Okay. Um. What? I want to hit her with something. Yeah, um, hit her with something. <laughs> so you know the CDC, the, the CDC has published a, uh, some findings, 
um, that that hookahs are spreading herpes. Have you heard that? I can believe oh that. God. Have you heard that That's though? Why you shouldn't do it. The Center of Disease Control. I'm just saying. CDC. I'm, what? How do you feel about that? <laughs> she feel like she's stressed. She looks stressed about it. Keep on smoking that hookah if you want to. Mm hmm. You're gonna hit a lot the of road be, bumps. People be in there. <laughs> a lot of road bumps. I'm just saying that people be sharing their little thing a lot. What do you mean? Like the little thing, because I know everybody get their own little that plastic, thing, right? That plastic they, tip. They share the holes, not the tips. Psh, oh, niggas be people, sharing the tips. People be sharing the tips, though? You, I be seeing people. Because they, they only give them like five. Yeah, they be like There's give them no five. way you can share a tip. That's disgusting. What do you, you, like you, you know what's happening. Them. I've done it. Cat. You've done Whoa. it. Whoa. <laughs> no homo, no homo, you but I... It? You yeah. your mouth with somebody yeah. Yo, oh, when I used to smoke, I mean, no, no, no. I'm saying, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. I'm just we devotion. I'm not saying I did it like, but, but to my point, they I'm give like a plastic. certain amount, and you be like, damn. So you gotta like, you can go get more in the bag. We gotta wait for you to come back. It's too much. So what you do? What you do is what is, what, you put your hand over. Damn, I don't even want to do this right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I know you're what you're talking crazy. about. You you yeah, know, and, and then you, Whoa, you know what? Can you explain it? Can you explain it? What's going on? I'm not here? saying I'm it. I'm not explaining it because he's making a lot of noise. <laughs> can you please explain How you it? Do it again. You was like, do it. Ah, no. just, <laughs> this nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain it? They already know what you're talking about. Okay, okay so using your hand, me. that's some bullshit. Yeah. All right. All of that is some crackhead activity. I'm going to be real with y'all. I've seen the smokers do all kinds of shit like that in my, in my saying, day. Y'all saying with, with hookah, but also you got to think about it when people smoking blunts, when people smoking oh, anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, that's a, yeah, that's a prime, prime objective. They yeah. think that the heat kills the germs. Yeah, that's what they say. Remember that? Oh, yeah, the heat, the, the, the fire, the that's fire what, kill that. That's what ninjas oh, say, yeah. niggas say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's nuts, man. I just seen that report, and all I could think about was poor Cat. And, you know, I just I just want to make sure that she's careful out there, you know what I mean, in 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 this big world. Because what if that shit spreads on the tube? You know niggas put their mouth on the tube before, too. See, first off, any nigga putting their mouth on a tube... <laughs> Is fucking crazy. Well, that's how that's how much hookah has a stronghold on people. No. They lose that tip, it goes how on the floor. They ain't picking it back. True. How do you if see? You, if you if you cover it cover it with your hand and you got it on your hand and say you scratch your eye or something or you rub your lip or you just you could get like you get a herpes hold on, bro. like right here. Hold on. Let's not <laughs> outbreak. Hold on. Uh, uh, Wait a minute. Hold an on. Optical <laughs> outbreak. Hold on. Let's not. I let's not. Only get an outbreak if they if their outbreak is showing or something. No, no, it's dormant. No, no, not huh? not one hundred percent, but but the likelihood is a lot lower if if it's not an outbreak. That's true. Yeah, but it's not one hundred percent. I know, like a girl. Oh, you know a girl who's got herpes. That, well, I don't know her anymore, but yeah. just you know, her. you know she she I gone. Seen her since yeah, college. she okay. about to say you knew a girl with herpes in college. Yes, but her okay. her um herpes was not showing. Like mm -hmm. she was taking medications. Mm -hmm. She just happened to say it one day, and you just I wasn't being like rude. That's I just so stayed crazy. away. Like CP, so, something, something, like something like that. Something like that slips, and you already know how motherfuckers be like. <laughs> <'Cause it's, laughs> like like the shit's gonna it's jump crazy. off. No, like, it's crazy. Like it's crazy because hey. it's like. I'm looking at you. You telling me you got herpes, but I can't see it. I can't tell. That's scary. Like, That's like CPV. That's like no, H H H P V. Sorry. H P V. That was a big thing in college, nigga. Hey, but no, you a hookah though? No, H he, he smokes. H this nigga? Yeah. Don't you got hookah? Do you got a hookah? I smoke you in a race. No, you won't beat me no fucking okay, okay, race. No, no, man. I'm gonna record that. Are you serious? Man, you slow. I can catch better than you. Wow, that you switched. Prove it. <laughs> I played football with the kids earlier. Can't none of my kids catch. <laughs> That's okay. We'll I'm, teach be you. I'm beating niggas. Yeah, damn. Oh. Catch that then shit. I, said, I, got, I, got, I got so sick of it. I just said, all right, listen, I'm going to just run. Y'all niggas tackle me. And then they would just part like the Red Sea. Yeah, said, That's right. <laughs> Yo, listen, I'm happy about this guy right now because I'm going to tell you right now, we had this dude doing squats the other day and he killed it. What? Yes. It's funny. We was on a call. Tomorrow I told you we had the family. My family had yeah. a call. We'll talk about it in a minute, but uh, I said something because because my dad was being very assertive on his family call, and you know people thought he was being a little bit abrasive, but he was just trying to understand. I was explaining to him like me and this nigga, we know what we know, but that's all we know. So outside of that, we don't know. We're fucking babies. You know what I'm saying? We you got to teach us. You know what I'm saying? When we'll learn though. You know what I mean? Once so once so. As far as um exercising goes, I'm. Gonna, 
fucking infant. I don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? But really? you know, once he. Mm-hmm. You like, never. Oh, okay, so you tell like me. This. You tell me. You never just like looked in the mirror and was like, "Damn, I want to look like Keith." <laughs> Man, like, like I want to look like Keith oh. Carlos naked, so let me uh, start doing some push-ups. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, look, even if I said that, I know how to do a push-up, right? I right. know how to do a push-up, a sit-up. That's fine. All these other type of exercises, though, niggas got lunges and. Sc- I'm like, bro, I don't know how to do none of that. Yeah. Shit. Now he got like like a lot of hyped up shit. Like he, I don't. We worked out today. He was like, ah, now nah, when you when you roll, you got to turn your wrist and flip it and pull your elbow behind your spine. I'm like, yo, <laughs> he's not saying like he's right. I, I, I mean, be told, that's I'm what he be telling the white people. <laughs> yeah. Hey, all day, I'm sore. I'm sore. I'm sore. Yeah. Not you. So no, we, no, I'm going to tell you what's sore. We did them six flights of motherfucking stairs uh, last weekend. He, you really worked out for real? Yeah, uh, that's right in here. Oh, nigga, to the parking garage? Nigga, we had to walk up six flights of stairs though, on Saturday at the parking garage. Nigga, I'm talking about my legs was on fire, this nigga. <laughs> Oh my god, my shit. Mind out, you, we already walk up two. We just walk up two already. So you're talking about just another four. No, the two the two is fun. Yeah, it's just fine. But that's six? Uh, oh, that was what kind of cardio serious, do you do? Bro, what kind of cardio? I don't do shit about nothing. Well, you can start off walking like five five miles. See, I walk plenty though. Yeah. I pace my house, I pace. Yeah. It's something called the Haitian pace. Now, a Haitian man just like to pace, right? Yeah. With whatever. We like to think, pace, so get on the phone, pace. Yeah. This is what we do. Yeah. So I pace plenty. I think I pace five miles a day. Who knows? Ain't no do t- you no, really? T- no, no, no. I'm talking I about. I pace a lot, bro. So there's different from workout miles and, and then day miles. Yeah. So Your that's 10 knows. miles, right? So you need to do five just straight. I'm I'm at the park pacing for five miles. Jesus looking Christ. at the watch. I start in the treadmill. Wow. It's easy though. It, it goes by fast. I just want to. Next know. thing you know, you're going to run it. Time to do it. I'm going to have these niggas working out on Sunday. Oh no, we're making niggas working on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mando, like we working on the Mando we workout. The county jail, I'm something called Mando workout. That's right. That's the last time I worked out in the county jail. Okay. Yeah. Man, well, you workout. had to for the set. Yeah. No, like niggas is like, nah, like new nigga. Niggas yeah. came out. Niggas is hitting the bar. Yeah, you got to, you know bro. You so, got to. You know, now we about right. to have it, but we gonna get them right though. But we got we got the camp on some shit right now, so mm. it's okay. Turning yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah. Huh? We gotta cut out. Cut out what? Cut out what? We get. You know, you know. You, let me tell you something about working out, though, Cat. What? When you work out, and you can vouch for this too, but when you work out, you start to lose the appetite for certain things because your body's requiring certain things that needs to propel itself. So you don't even want to go back to the same things. It's almost like I can drink this Coke, or Coke you're gonna want you're gonna want a soda, you, but when you drink it, you're still gonna be thirsty. Yeah, Coke propels me. It's you cat- say that I mean, now. You, really you drink say that. that? Bro, oh, he's a co- clean, You see all like, these cokes around here? Where the coke that clean blood. I'm mad I ain't got no coke street. now. Yeah. Battery acid. Hey, so, this apple cider vinegar, niggas still be drinking that? No, no. no they don't. They cost way too much. They're not pouring nigga, that out. Nigga, They're not pouring that out on the street. Listen, I just, I just seen apple cider vinegar take the paint off of shit. Really? Yes. Why the fuck would you drink that? People do be taking. No, I've had before, but I don't drink it like faithfully. Oh, religion. You don't drink. You take like a I tablespoon. yeah, and a tablespoon. Like but you taking like a whole can day. of coke. It's good for you. Yeah, yeah. You get I some rich for your hair. Listen, I got so much of that. That's how my hair grew. So I got long. them. Dr- <laughs> <laughs> I got them Dream Worlds. Nigga, I got the little cans though. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, them Dream Worlds. I ain't gonna nigga, put that I on because I don't want to put you on black. But put who on black? The hair. That shit right. Like yo, coke. You about to talk about his hair? Diabetes. No, no, no. You know what? That's crazy. You know what's crazy? Yeah, she just came for nigga. No, because I was trying to figure out what he was about to say. That's what I'm saying. See, you you, you were being a little too. <laughs> you didn't even know what we were talking about. But, you know, if we want to <laughs> go tip a tat over here. Oh. I'm playing. I'm playing. I wanted to because I wanted to know if it was lawful or not. Mm-hmm. To what? Is it lawful to. How do you feel about, like, hair transplant? <laughs> Is it lawful? It's lawful. No, I think certain procedures, definitely. Do you want a hair transplant? You're in the game. I'm in the game, nigga. You want a hair transplant? I'm in the game. I'm but you know you had to keep that shit covered up for like six months, probably. Nah. nah. They gotta, they you see, you know what's crazy? Atlanta. They don't even know, kid. They got the They don't even know. In Atlanta, I think. They don't even know. If you want to divulge it, you can't. Just what are you talking about? Nothing. You signed a deal? <laughs> what? She got a new endorsement deal with a with a hair with a <laughs> with, with, with hair club for men or something. What's going oh, on? Shit. <laughs> no. I, I, we'll talk about we'll, we'll talk about that off camera. Off camera. We'll talk about that off camera. Talk about what? Again. 
talking about? Nothing. You switch your hair. What's up with uh new new hair? Who this? I like the long. It's good. It's thirty. Good. I'm feeling. Okay. I'm feeling thirty. Hey, we'll edit. That. I'm always gonna feel thirty inches. No, you're not. It's always a good choice. Thirty yeah. inches. We'll edit that part. You know what I'm saying? What's that? A, <laughs> that's a wave. My wave, bad. Wave, yeah, wave. Pineapple. A pineapple wave. Uh huh. I'm feeling. It. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Sneaky here, dog. Um, mental health. Hmm. Who seen this dude in Memphis? You seen this guy? In oh, movie? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Did y'all hear about the girl that uh, killed her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Six hundred Reezy girlfriend. Yeah, mm-hmm. she killed herself. She wrote some long letters to her Wait, man when? and killed but did, herself. Did she, you hear? Did you hear the new update? No, nah, what's Wait, the update? this is recent. This is like yesterday. This is like four days ago. She oh, yeah. she actually died, passed away like four, like four, four days, days ago. Okay. And yes, they're sir, saying man, that we... the they're as the family's asking him for the time that she sent that message because they feel like somebody somebody killed her, and he's not giving it up. Wow. Then he says on Instagram that what did he say? He said that that message was sent to him months ago. But did you see where he said something about um, Lil Murder? And uh, what's the dude, the one that shot mm-hmm. himself? Uh-uh, I don't remember. Oh, you didn't, watch, you didn't watch mm-hmm. P-Valley? No, I watched P-Valley, but I didn't see. Yeah. I don't. I didn't see what he said, though, Breezy said. Oh, you didn't read it? No. Nah, they uh-uh. said something about, you, you remember the scene where uh, Lil Murder was in a car mm-hmm. with, what's his name, Tweak? Mm-hmm. Uh, something like that. Mm-hmm. And he shot himself in the head? Yeah. And it was in the message. When did that move? When did that show come out? That was a couple, like weeks, a couple ago. weeks ago. Yeah, exactly. So it was about months ago. So I'm, I'm trying to put two and two together. Yeah, I mean, it was in the message. Like, okay, literally that, that whole thing. Yeah, so I think I mean the police getting ready to get involved in it, and, and they'll they'll figure that out. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. That's crazy. Yeah, that's um. Damn. There's that, and then dude in Memphis, um, was going around shooting people. Yeah, I saw that. Mm-hmm. He killed a couple people. Didn't he get arrested? Yeah, he got arrested. So actually, my boy, you remember when we was in Memphis? Tall ass. Nigga. Tall, light skinned dude was on the outside, Gucci, Gucci down. Mm-mm. I'm gonna show you the dude. He's yeah. a cool brother, whatever. But his girl actually was Memphis was just like a Memphis was just kind of like a blur, bro. I know. I ain't gonna hold you. We had to <laughs> we had to get out of town just to say that, to say the least. I can listen. I got the fuck about the town. Yeah. Bro, right here. You remember, bro? Yes, I do. Okay, so him, his girl was actually um a wrestling officer. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, yeah. She said she put the rifle on him and he gave it up. Damn. Yeah, he hit me about that this morning. So, um That's scary. Yeah, but mental health. It's it's important, right? Yeah. Um I had that's what I, my family meeting was about yesterday. You know, my little bro and stuff. Um and the importance of mental health. Because people be having breakdowns. You know what I mean? And people everybody handles things differently. differently yeah. Right? You can go through something, somebody else can go through the same exact thing, and it just just totally drive them insane, mm-hmm. you know. So um, we got to be like, we got to be aware of stuff like that, right? We talking about that shit today. today. Very right. You all right? How you doing? You all right? I'm good. <laughs> yeah, we gotta check in on each other, right? We got we, to. We gotta check in on each other. Yeah. We. Yeah. I yeah. just got a message from uh, some. I can't. Of course. A person. Say the name. Mm-hmm. Um, she was actually like. Thinking about doing something, you know, mm-hmm. I don't want to say stupid, but stupid. Mm-hmm. And um, I just told her I would talk to her more. Like, you know, it's it's getting hard out here. I don't know what it is, mm-hmm. but everybody's going through something. Like, <laughs> we know what it is. Yeah, no, nah, and it's it's we know it's, what it is. You know, it's just the, it's yeah. just the times. It's but, the times, bro. Um, no, nah, like like you said though, and and it's it's cold because um, even just that that simple conversation you had, like some people, it's just you know. You got to kind of be more present um, in their lives. You yeah. know, some people you may not need to be that present all the time. You know what I mean? It's not. But some people kind of need it. And that's that's kind of like the situation was going on. You know, because my brother, he'd been, he been out of his mind for a minute. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Probably six, six, seven years about. Um, and, um, you know, just kind of, I know me, my dad. We're kind of like, we just kind of try to not mm-hmm. have to engage with it too much. Um, versus my mom is kind of like, you know, she the one taking care of him. Yeah. My sister is like a, prof- like she's like a professional, like it's what she does. So she's dealing with it constantly. You know what I mean? Then we got our older brother. He's, he's in PA, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, so he's trying to get involved. So we just kind of had like a, 
a family meeting on Zoom yesterday to kind of figure out like, okay, what do we need to do? What can we do? What's the plan of action, et cetera, et cetera. So everybody was kind of saying, okay, well, like what, what can each, per each person, like what do you have to offer in the situation? So everybody kind of decided like probably talking to them more um, except me, right? Because, you know, some of the times we talk, like my sister had said something on a um on a thing like you know because because we all grew up together like we have my older brother he didn't grow up with us right then my parents my, our parents are our parents right so they weren't growing up with us right but my sister like if you listen to him long enough you you'll start seeing what he's talking about right she can do that and I can do that because we have enough familiarity with because he he's like reverting in his mind to like a certain time period. In, when we was younger, you know what I mean. So, if we listen to him long enough, we I'll see what the fuck he's talking about. You see what I'm saying? Kind of, they're like it'll start. She'll, certain shit will mm -hmm. start to make, make sense, sense a little mm -hmm. bit, right? So, but to anybody else, it's gonna sound completely Crazy. insane. Mm -hmm. So, but because of that, I can't talk to him all. The, I can't be talking to him all the time. You see what I'm saying? Because he didn't say some shit to me. I was like, it fucked me up. Like probably like a whole day, I was fucked up. You know what I mean? Um, because he remembers. Well, not so much he remembers. Who wouldn't remember? But it's the way he, he remembered it in a way that was just crazy as fuck. And um, it just made me feel bad. You know what I'm saying? It mm -hmm. just made me feel bad. So um, I'm like, I don't, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be the one that's going to put myself to, I'm going to spend the phone time. You know what I'm saying? If it's a group setting, yeah, but I really don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, um. It's important though, you know what I mean? Because yeah. he's just, again, he's been not him for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, and this is more of a question more than anything, but like, how hard is it, right? Because I think we've all dealt with similar things like that in our family, but like, how hard is that dealing with that and then kind of like knowing what's going on because we know the truth mm -hmm. and then like still being like, I gotta be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you, do you find that balance? kind of hard to do no okay. no i mean you know what i'm saying though I like you, saying. you know what i mean because because like sometimes right like in the truth and for me i'll speak for myself like i'll say to myself hey a nigga's judgment is just a nigga judgment I'm not saying that we won't do nothing but that's just what the I most mean, high yeah. had you know yeah. i mean the most i go deal everybody the cars they gonna be dealt i mean but that's that's not on us to to just, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like that's it is what it is. We got to do our part. You know what I'm saying. So it just that's just so now it ain't it, especially at this at this at this juncture in my life something like that. That's not hard. Got you, come okay, you know okay. I mean? But definitely. So you know, it's just but it's something we all got to be conscious of. You know, like like she said, a lot of people are just people are just um, you know, it's crazy outside right now. You know what I mean? Like it's it's crazier than I mean I. It's easy for us to go, well, it's crazier than it's ever been. Why? Because it's present. It's happening right now. And it is crazy. Maybe the 90s are crazy. Maybe the 80s. I don't know. I wasn't alive in the 80s, so I wouldn't know nothing about the 80s. I know the 90s was crazy from what I remember from the 90s. But it, it was crazy in a different way, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was alive 50 sometime, right? No. Uh, <laughs> Definitely wasn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But So things were crazy. But, like, it was different, though. What was making people go crazy in the eighties was me and crack cocaine. That's you know right. What I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then cracking and crime really mm -hmm. spiked in the nineties. You know, like kind of, and then the crime bill came out, mm -hmm. and then everybody who did that in the nineties went they yeah. to jail in the two thousands. Yeah, quick, you know what I'm saying. Early. So it's like the two thousands was it was relatively kind of calm. You know what I mean? Um, compared to the nineties and to the eighties, but now we're in these twenty twenties, nigga, and it's going pretty. Yeah. It's going nuts again. Question. So regarding uh, mental health, being a leader and being uh, and, and taking on those pressures of uh, those around you, how do you deal with uh, yourself and your, uh, <laughs> your own sanity? Because you naturally, I don't, I don't know, you take on, you know, that, that energy from other people. That's such an important question. I'm glad somebody cares about it. Mm -hmm. I say it every time. Because you know what? Barely ever does anybody go, well, how are you dealing with that? How do you feel? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I've had to um, 
people in my life I have I've had to really snap on to kind of like say like who's thinking about me? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I've had to do that a lot. I did it, I did it to a side. Mm-hmm. Now a side does that to people. It's hilarious. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because I hear Big goes, I felt like I, I knew how you felt because I I had to say that. Well, what about me? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. no, seriously though, the fuck yeah. about me? You know what I'm right. saying? Um, you know I'm I can be hard to read for sure. I'm just like that though. You know what I mean? I kind of just I be nonchalant just about shit. Just keep pushing. You know I just I don't kind of um show emotions like that. So. But because I show emotions, there's there's people who think I don't have them. You know what I'm saying? Like people like, oh, well, he must not. Nothing affects him, so he must not care. Or, you know, it must not. Nothing must not. Nah, you know, it whether it does or doesn't, motherfucker ain't going to know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's going to have to be like some boiling point shit to, you know, where you're going to see that. But other than that, I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to just play everything real smooth all the time. Um, but you know, definitely, um, you know, I definitely appreciate when people um, take the time out to make sure I'm straight. You know what I mean with my mental health, which I, which I am. But I, I, somebody needs yeah. to care, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Somebody needs to care. Well, you know what? Uh, hopefully, I, I I talk to you enough, and hopefully, I look at him. No, no, I'm being, I'm being, <laughs> I'm being honest. I, I feel like we have a a, a pretty good relationship. Um, so if I'm not Salaki, and you know I will, you know what I mean. But I, I remember um, was it last year or earlier this year we had a, a nice conversation about something that we were both dealing with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't. I think it had something to do with the. What does it have to do with the ribs or something like that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and that was a real moment. Nine times out of ten. Yeah, as always, and that was a real moment. So I make sure to check in. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, appreciate it. You know, we do we do various things. And, you know, some people don't understand. You know how certain people deal with it. Like me, even growing up as a kid, I used to see different, um, different fathers, different husbands, and you know different uh, fathering styles, husband styles, etc. And I see the dudes who, um, whose whose testicles was in their wife purse. I mm-hmm. knew who them niggas was, right? I just knew I could never be that nigga in my whole life. I couldn't go out like that. So, um, okay. but but some people, that's them. They are just home. And you know the wife kind of just runs shit, and you know they just kind of yes, yes man. They're a, they become a servant, right? Um, well, that's uh, first answer for when we talk about mm-hmm. that. Media become a servant mm-hmm. for their sake. Mm-hmm. Uh, but mm-hmm. you know, I mean us, you know we we do whatever we do um, to keep our sanity. You that's know what right. I'm saying? That's right. We like the nightlife. You know what I'm saying? You know, we like to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That that's 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 about all I need to. Um, so I'm wine a Keep bit. me cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Keep that, I, I, can, I can. That's about it. I don't I, need a lot. I can you vouch know? for that I shit. I ain't finna drink that. I don't need it. That, that's gonna send me somewhere. Yeah. So what about yeah. anxiety? How do you handle anxiety? I don't really um deal with anxiety anymore. Okay. Um, there's been times in my life where I've had anxiety. Mm-hmm. I haven't had um anxiety or a problem with anxiety in a long time. Um. You know, it and that just comes from prioritizing things, right? Okay. When you're processing shit, heavy thoughts, certain things take priority, mm-hmm. right? And um, through prioritizing certain things, I'm not worried about. Because that's what sometimes where anxiety will come when it's like, like you got all this shit to deal with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, I just go, okay, well, what's the most important thing here? That's all I'm going to worry about. The rest of this shit later for it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, But you got to be able to do that. Some people don't understand that. And it's, it's some I, I have issues with certain people because they don't even understand that about me. Well, what about this? What about that? Well, I don't care. I got this to do, and that's priority. So anything else, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not even bothering with it until mm-hmm. after this is done. Right. Then, uh, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So you know, um, that makes sense. You got to be able to do that priority because anxiety is the worst thing to have. And there's been times in my life where my anxiety has been oh, horrible. You know what I mean? But um. You know that those those days are behind me. Thank mm-hmm. God. Yeah. Right. Thank okay. God. Sure. Okay. All praise. You know. But yeah. But um. Shane, like, so <laughs> you, <laughs> like, how was it when you first like looked in the mirror and started losing hair? Was it like? <laughs> did it like hit you really hard, or did you? You just like, all right, I got to accept this. This is who I am now. Um, <laughs> so I am now. I'm nigga that's bald. 
Uh, <clears throat> well, that's a hard question to tackle because you know, <laughs> when you're in real time, you don't really notice it happening. <laughs> no, you're in denial about it, right? You're like, no. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, you know happening. what you 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 know what you start noticing it through like through your haircuts with the barber, and you're like, is it put? Nah. Because you see yourself every day, so you don't know that your shit's so really getting you pushed get back. Yeah, it's 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 not until you start looking at pictures. You know what I mean? You start going through the timelines and you're like, you know what? I lost it. Yeah. But you know what? Enough about me. That's we're gonna we're gonna edit. Shit. We're you gonna lot, you have a lot of estrogen. We're gonna edit all of this shit out. <laughs> it's not a problem. We can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna edit it, right, Chief? Yeah, little, little cut here. Yeah. Shot. There. Um, because this asshole over here, you know. <laughs> I think it's time for him to go. Oh, well, you know what? Back to LA, sir. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got you know what? Actually we have so got something planned? When? Tonight? Yeah. Tonight. It's only yeah. 12. Well, I, I mean, but there's what something special. What we doing? Just shut up. Hold on, hold on. Y'all had something special for me this whole time? You didn't look at him. No, he's on the <laughs> Anyway, Labor Day. Labor Read Day in your head. I don't want to hear it. No, no neg- well, negativity. It's right now, so everybody's... It's, it's getting ready to set in, I think, this recession. No, I think it's already started. It started? Oh, yeah, they said it already started. She, they said it been had. She said later, Labor Day... Was slow. Was slow. They ain't got it no more, bro. Wow. They it's need, summer's over. They need the PPP. No, they don't. PPP <laughs> fucked us up. You see what Biden's about to do? Ten years spread about combing through your financials. Anything closing, Keith Carlos? Um. You're whack. You you're whack. I hate you. And um. <laughs> his his what he say? His shoes whack. Yeah. His clothes yeah. whack. I'm gonna the way he doesn't try to him. smile whack. I'm punch you in the face. Me, soon. I'm dope as fuck. Dope <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Can you give us one more pose? Yeah. Different than what you did before. Different. Let me see. So if I. <laughs> <laughs> This Negro, man, it's I love him. Simple, man. You just gotta show him the bicep curl. Yeah, Boom. yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have? Do, do, you, do you name your poses sometimes? Like some of them, some, some, cause like yo, I watch yo. He got this one thing where he just do like a a, a, a walking <laughs> running man forward. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Now nah, you doing that one? That's the, the fake walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he will yeah. be like, just dance, keep moving. But click, he's posing. Click, click. Clip. You gotta move after every clip. You know what I'm saying? Oh. You, you, ever, you ever look at pictures like a nigga like he's, yeah. he looks like he was walking? Yeah, he's not walking. He just lives under his heels and his toes. That's all he's doing. That's all he's doing. That's all he's doing. This dude's really a professional. Yeah. yeah. Did you like the movie Zoolander? Never seen. It. Listen, That's you bullshit. know what music video he's in? What music video? That damn Cardi. Be tip careful drill. with me. <laughs> you tip see She's too young. She yeah, don't even know what. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, that's must crazy. Be our ass yeah, they yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, ain't Cardi B's video. Yeah, to be yeah. careful with me. Yeah, we got married. Look, this nigga was watching. Shout out to Cardi. No, they did. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I never seen I the video. Like, <laughs> I knew the song, but I never seen the video. You never seen. So I seen this the nigga video. showing me the video. He's like, "Tell me if you recognize anybody in the motherfucking video." This nigga just come in with this fucking. Couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same hat. I said, "Oh, this nigga married Cardi B in the video." Nigga. This nigga is. You see this? Yeah. He got a door with a feather. Yeah, That's man. unlawful too. That's wow. duck feathers. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is pterodactyl. <laughs> yeah, nigga, exclusive. Hold on. So you believe that the Earth's been around for millions of years? Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> All right, man, we signed it off, man. <laughs> signed it off.